dig up a past, I swore. Stay buried. You will always be a monster. Ares! I have nothing more to hide. The ghost of Sparta had been born. Loki is a complicated character. He was neither righteous nor wicked in Norse mythology. Yet we'd all be lying if we said he hadn't had ill intents that led to death, devastation, and many people despising him. When I think of Atreus, I do not think of Loki. I can't imagine disliking Atreus, but I can see how I'd hate the character Loki. So how would Santa Monica rationalize Atreus as such an unintentionally cruel being, such as the god of mischief? Well. Will Atreus' personality change? Will we see more of his impulsiveness and compulsion that we saw in God of War 2018? I believe we will, and I may have an explanation. But before I go any further, I'd like to proudly make clear that this video is a collaboration with John Ford. His YouTube channel will be linked in the pinned comment below. Subscribe to him and check out the other part of this theory on his channel where he goes into more detail. Many representations of Loki, whether from Norse myth, the MCU, or other video games, show Loki suffering from some type of mental illness, so why not believe that Atreus, as Loki in God of War, suffers a similar fate? Atreus bears four important features that I feel will assist Santa Monica to validate the transformation of Atreus from Atreus to Loki. These qualities include emotional instability, disrupted thought patterns, impulsive behavior, and intense interpersonal interactions. I'll discuss the last two attributes here on my channel, as well as how I feel they will affect the Atreus' path to becoming Loki, while Jean Ford will discuss the other two on his channel. First, let's talk about Atreus' impulsive behavior. There is normally one main type of impulse that people with mental inflictions like Atreus may find extremely difficult to control and that's a strong impulse to engage in reckless and irresponsible activities such as shooting your father with a lightning arrow in the middle of being attacked by Baldr or killing an Aesir god against your father's wishes or even minor actions like grabbing a burning hot knife from your mother's lifeless corpse or dropping said knife on the ground while chasing a magical boar. These impulses that we see take over Atreus are what Kratos is actually scared of. He is scared that he has passed on his out of controlness to his own son and maybe his compulsive behavior is what will lead Atreus to act more like Loki. But before I get to that, I want to talk about Atreus' unstable relationships. If you have a mental infliction, you may feel that other people abandon you when you most need them. When people fear abandonment, it can lead to feelings of intense anxiety and anger. You make frantic efforts to prevent being left alone. We see this with Atreus. He's scared to death of his father leaving him or abandoning him. We see it first when Atreus pulls out Kratos from the lights of Alfheim. We see it when Freya saves Atreus from his sickness and he asks Kratos not to leave without him. We even see it when Kratos dies in gameplay and Atreus shouts, No, don't leave me alone! here and the fact that Atreus stuck his hand into the lights of Alfheim and fought a bunch of dark elves just to make sure Kratos does not abandon him is proof of Atreus' frantic efforts to prevent being left alone. I mean, we saw how hot the light of Alfheim is, and even Kratos had to really push himself to get inside, so for a child to do that is not an easy feat. Loki's objectives in Norse mythology were never to murder or destroy. Loki is not a horrible guy, but he does evil things due to his impulsiveness and the fact that he sometimes does not think things through. Atreus is an ambassador of disorder, the god of mischief, and I feel that the only way Santa Monica could reasonably justify Atreus as Loki is through this explanation. The game will most likely not openly mention a condition, but will instead describe it in other terms like Mimir does in Helheim in this clip. We need to talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Baldur destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around he... Atreus is not your concern. Well, you might become everyone's concern if you don't do something. You don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that. 
To learn more about Atreus's mental state, come over to my channel where we talk about Atreus's emotions and how that might lead into a bigger problem in God of War Ragnarok. Don't forget to subscribe to ABD Bay for more videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And as John Ford would say, deuces.